call to the member for Cunningham. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Industry and Science. How is the Albanese Labor government delivering more secure jobs and investing in our manufacturers through the future Made in Australia plan? What policies has the government ruled out and why? Thank you. The call to the Minister for Industry and Science. Right, I thank the member for their question and note that 72,000 taxpayers in the electorate of Cunningham better off from this Order. week's tax cuts. The the now, Speaker, stronger, strong economies possess strong manufacturing capabilities, and our future made in Australia plans are about mobilising Australian manufacturing to make the things that reduce emissions and create strong, secure jobs in the process, delivering sovereign capability, allowing us to stand on our own two feet, reducing our dependency on concentrated supply chains building economic resilience. Jobs up, emissions down, stronger economy. Yeah. That's what our Future Made in Australia legislation is all about. And we've got this once-in-a-generation opportunity to leverage off our deep reserves of critical minerals and resources. We've got a constant sun supply of sun and wind that bless our continent, and an army of skilled Australian workers who can get the job Order. done to take our Order economy Casey. forward. And the Future Made in Australia legislation introduced today by the Treasurer is about locking in our advantages and investing in our strengths and, importantly, doing so without pushing up energy prices for manufacturers with risky, expensive nuclear reactors. And, Speaker, you could fit their nuclear plans on a post-it note with space left over. They've got key details missing. Like how much will it actually cost? Order. How much more Order. will manufacturers Remember and households page. pay for their power supply? An idea so staggeringly uninvestable, Order. they didn't even Members commit left to work rejecting. with the private sector to finance their power plants. And breathtakingly, we've got a leader of the opposition trying to dress this sham up as some sort of help for Australian manufacturing. Because remember. The Liberal and National parties only ever talk about manufacturing to talk it down. In government, they chased out our car manufacturers. They oversaw the destruction of 100,000 manufacturing jobs. Him. In opposition, wouldn't vote for the National Reconstruction Fund. They wouldn't back energy price relief for manufacturers. And they wanted to call an early election to stop tax cuts for manufacturing workers. And now, desperate to sell this start of a policy, you hear in the distance the deputy leader of the opposition say, just tell them it's good for manufacturing. I mean, the political mouse just blows my mind, Speaker. <laughs> Only talking about manufacturing now, friends, because it's in their political interest. Not because it's in national interest, it's in their political interest and they chase away manufacturers. Australian manufacturing Order. workers deserve better and our future made in Australia plan will deliver better. Yeah.